year old in Vermilion Parish is recovering after he was attacked by a dog last month. His father says he's frustrated with animal control and tells our George Lippincott why he believes they did not do enough to stop this from happening again. Kevin Robbins followed his son's home on their bikes on Sharon Drive when two dogs ran out from a home and attacked them. One of his boys was able to escape, but Robbins 12 year old was left with puncture wounds. And when a second dog hit him in the thigh right or bit him in the thigh hamstring area and knocked him over into the ditch. That's why it wasn't able to actually latch onto him. He fell in the ditch. A spokeswoman for animal control says they came out here where the dogs were located that same evening and say they saw the two dogs in kennels but didn't know which dog bit the child. They knocked on the door and no one answered. And I said I thought that we should wait until the next morning so that we could speak to the owners. Debbie Garrow, a spokeswoman for Vermilion Parish Animal Control, says when they returned, no one would answer the door, but the dogs, which were outside, didn't show signs of aggression or rabies. But Robin says the protocol wasn't followed and that the dogs should have been picked up. They told me the only thing they can hit the man up with is a no leash law violation. That it hasn't even been issued yet. We reached out to the sheriff's office and they say several attempts have been made to locate the dog's caregiver, but it's believed they left the property. The case remains under investigation. A parish ordinance states dogs who bite someone need to be quarantined for a period of 10 days or longer. It is the 10 days after the attack and that the dog or cat, in the case of a cat, is to be monitored for signs of rabies. Garrow says they were eventually able to get in touch with the dog's caregiver and it was given a rabies vaccination after the 10 day period. But Robbins isn't sure something like this won't happen again. I mean, they got kids all over and that's why we moved to the country. So when my kids say, Dad, I'm going to ride my bike. I don't have to worry about him. In Vermilion Parish, Jordan Lippincott, KTC TV3.